Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through a comparison of uh, OpenSCAD versus FreeCAD with a side-by-side -side of, the, of the two programs. So what's happening right now is I'm entering variables. In OpenSCAD, they're directly entered into the editor and, it, and we're doing length, width, and height for a, for a box. In FreeCAD, I'm entering them into the spreadsheet workbench where they can be accessed from later on in the park workbench that can be accessed and um, and used to uh, affect the size uh, the parameters of parts. So you'll see in OpenSCAD this is a little bit more uh, straightforward that you can um, you know just enter the variable with its name. In FreeCAD I have to uh, put the variable in and add an alias to it. So I, I guess it's kind of the same number of steps, but it's a little bit, um, it's, it's hidden. So you have to learn that you have to do an alias. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It's just, it, you know, it's just what it is. Um, and so as I finish up, I'm doing scale variables so that, uh, the, so the scale val variables are to set the size of the inside box. That's going to be, that's going to be Boolean subtracted. So, um, while that while I'm finishing up the variables, let me just say that this is not intended to bash one program over the other. Uh, it, I, I see these as hammers. You know, if you have a framing hammer that's heavy to 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 hit in big nails, and then you have a smaller hammer that maybe a tack hammer to do fine work. Maybe you have a rock hammer or a sledgehammer. So there's different types of tools for different different types of jobs. Um, now I. It's, it's a little harder to define the types of jobs with these two, but they're two different tools. And I'm just kind of doing this not to create a, a battle just to really, but just to, to do a side-by-side -side comparison so you understand the differences. So you'll see in FreeCAD, I'm forgetting to actually put the aliases in the scales, and I'll have to come back and do that next. Uh, next. But in OpenSCAD, I'm already done with the variables, and I'm um, adding the outside box. So that's the first cube. And the outside box, the reason why I subtract the radius is so because when I do a Minkowski sum, I want the box to actually be 80 units wide. When I do the Minkowski, um, it's going to be the radius plus the length. So if I don't so if I don't subtract the radius first, it's well, it's going to be uh, yeah, the radius plus the length. So if I don't subtract the radius first, um, it's going to be it's the box is going to be bigger than what the variable length is set to which is counterintuitive and that's kind of wrangling you have to do with with uh open scad that you don't have to do with freecad um in freecad you'll see that right now i'm adding the uh, variables or you know i'm adding the value from the spreadsheet to the uh to the cube and what you see is i'm using the you know the function uh little icon and that points to one of the one of the difficulties with FreeCAD is the learning curve. Now this is you know a simple thing to learn. Um, it's not hard, but you have to learn it. Um, so it's one you know one additional thing that you have to learn. Now it it creates great flexibility because you can use you can access spreadsheet values and other values um, you know anywhere you see that function box, and you can uh, you can directly access uh, things from the part design workbench in the spreadsheet. So it gives you a lot more, uh, you know, a, 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 you know, program-wide power. I don't know if it's more power because you probably can do all the same stuff in OpenSCAD. So you'll see in, in OpenSCAD now I'm at, I've added the second box and I'm subtracting and I've highlighted it red or I've, you know, I've highlighted it so you can see um, what I'm doing and sub subtracting it. And I've scaled it so that it's a, uh, the wall thickness smaller. And I've translated it so that it's centered in the first box. Now I'm adding the different. Now I'm going to difference the two uh, to to cut out the bottom. And OpenSCAD's almost finished. You'll see in FreeCAD I've added both cubes. The one cube has its parameters, and now I'm going to be adding the parameters to the second cube. But this has to, this has to be a calculation. So this to me is um, you know one of the differences that if you're doing a lot of calculations and uh, and stuff, I I think that's better suited for OpenSCAD because what happens in FreeCAD and the other programs that do this kind of thing is you have all these calculations that are buried in or and, and all over the program 
that if one of them's wrong, it can be difficult to dig out, which it is. And that's that's just based on my experience with other programs that that have um, you know uh, calculations in fields like this. I I remember I used to program Microsoft Access, and it had you know you'd, you'd end up with um, you'd end up with calculations everywhere, and if something was wrong, it could be hard to find it. That, I'm not outside. That's my bird clock signifying it's nine o'clock. So I finished up in OpenSCAD, um, and you see we have some time left in, in FreeCAD, and the majority of the time remaining is, one, I'm, uh, I'm going to be positioning it right now, I'm doing it, I'm moving it over by the width of the wall, and you can see this is a little bit easier in, in FreeCAD because I don't have to think about it too much, I just, I just know I have to move it over by the width of the wall. I do have to know how to get to the spreadsheet, or the width of the wall divided by two, I guess, I'm sorry. Because I'm only moving it half. Uh, that doesn't sound right. I think I go back and get rid of that divided by two. Yeah. Or not. I'm not sure. But anyway, so uh, you know, after I've positioned the the uh, inner cube, I'm gonna I'll be I'll do a boolean subtract of that to get the box shape, and then the final thing I'll be doing is um, is filleting it and. Uh, the fillet feature of FreeCAD definitely uh, definitely wins over OpenSCAD because it's just a lot more flexible. Um, you'll see I have a little trouble. Don't do what I did and make your lines really thin. I made them thin because I thought it looked better. But don't do that uh, because it makes them really hard to select. As you can see, I have a lot of trouble selecting those lines. So I have to select eight edges, the eight inside edges, to make the fillet the same as in OpenSCAD. And you see, once I get the first one, there we go. I start to fill it, and now I'm now I can move through the rest of them, and I have to select all eight. And one thing you'll notice is as I'm selecting them in the combo view task tab, you'll see it selecting each edge separately, and you'll also notice that there's a radius next to each of those edge. So each edge could be set to a different radius. So if you wanted to make some kind of odd shaped, you know, odd shaped box, you could change change the radiuses. So I have to select the inside and the outside edge so that both get filleted. Otherwise, you have, you know, a funny-looking box with square inside corners. So that's my free CAD. That's done. And I just want to thank you for uh, for watching this video. And please subscribe and like this video. Um, I, um, and if you have any comments as to you know who won, uh, OpenSCAD won time-wise. Uh, maybe free CAD won feature-wise. I'm not sure. Uh, but learn which tool to use for the project and I'm going to be doing I think I'm going to be doing more back CAD battles if people like this and uh, But please make sure you comment um, You know what I did right what I did wrong uh, You know if I, if there's a different way to uh, use free CAD to you know um, To beat open in that regard I know I didn't have to use a spreadsheet and if I didn't use a spreadsheet the time probably would have been the same um but maybe that's for another video. So uh, have a great day and thanks again.